It's policy point again, and in this video, we will take a look at a program that can be used to integrate ChatGPT into Kali Linux, known as Shell GPT. This GPT can be used to convert our natural language into shell commands. That is, ChatGPT interprets our requests and generates suitable commands from them. In addition, Shell GPT can explain error messages and program outputs to us. Since the API of OpenAI is used in the background, you need an API key to use Shell GPT. I will create a video explaining how to create an OpenAI API key. Subscribe to Policy point so you don't miss out immediately it dropped. We will now take care of the setup that is necessary to use Shell GPT in Kali Linux. First, JQ is needed. This JQ is a powerful and flexible tool for processing JSON data in a Linux environment. It allows users to parse, filter, and query JSON data from various sources. To install JQ, enter the command sudo apt install JQ. Next, we generate an API key in the OpenAI dashboard, which we will use only for Shell GPT, and which we appropriately name Shell GPT. Copy the freshly generated API key to a safe place that you can find later. Now we will install Shell GPT. Since it is a Python program, we use the following command for it. PIP install Shell dash GPT. After everything has been downloaded and installed successfully, CD into the directory dot local. There we will start using the command Python as GPT. Now we are prompted to enter an API key. For this, we use the API key generated earlier specifically for Shell GPT. Now we can start shell shaped and pass a prompt in in the form of a string. For example, we can say Python script hello shell. GPT responds to us as follows. Hello, how can I assist you today? If you don't want to go to the local bin directory every time you want to start shell GPT using the Python GPT command, you can put the directory where the Python binaries and shell GPT are located in the path environment variable. You can do this using the export command followed by an equal sign dollar path. That means we start with the current value of the path variable. The location of the shell script is the GPT binary followed by the location of the Python Python 3 binaries. Now, within the same terminal session, you can start child GPT from anywhere using the command GPT. If you want to be able to call shell GPT directly using the GPT command, not only within a terminal session but at every reboot, you have to persist the changes in the environment variable. To do this, open the bash rc file with nano. At the bottom of this file, enter the command you use to export the path environment variable to make the changes also effective in the current terminal session. Use the command source bash rc. Now let's take a look at how shell GPT basically works. A shell GPT command is structured as follows. With GPT, we start shell GPT. This is followed by an option. We focus on the two options, dash dash chat and dash dash shell. With dash dash chat, a chat is defined to which one can refer again later. This is especially interesting if you want to process several tasks simultaneously in one session and define prompts with different technical focuses. If you want to perform an nmap scan with GPT as part of the reconnaissance and crack pass passwords with hashcat in parallel, you can define two different chats with GPT chat nmap and GPT dash dash chat hashcat and assign the prompts accordingly with a dash dash shell. Shell GPT is told that the user wants to generate a shell command with the following prompt. If this option is missing, then the usual chat GPT text generation occurs so you don't get a shell command then, but a wall of text generated by chat GPT. As you might have already recognized, if you ask a simple question, suppose you want to scan the target system 10.0. 0.2.17 with nmap and you have no idea how to do this yet then you can already use shell gpt to generate a suitable command for this as gpt dash dash shell to say we want to have a shell command and afterwards as a string scan the target 10.0.2.7 since we use the dash dash shell parameter shell gpt knows that a shell command should be generated and adjusts the background prompts sent to the language model via OpenAI's api accordingly the results look something like this by default the commands generated by gpt are colored purple as you see the numbers. Below that, three more options appear. Execute, Describe, and Abort. The user can now decide whether to execute the generated command, have it explained, or cancel the operation. We decide to describe what exactly the command does and get the following response. This command uses the nmap tool to scan the specified IP address and determine the version of the services running on it. Below that, the three options appear again. Since we don't know that much about nmap yet, and the explanation doesn't give us any clue as to whether or not we are allowed to do this, we abort the process. That was a very short introduction to how to set up shell scripts and how to use them. We will use shell script quite often within my video series Ethical Hacking for Social Media. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.